Hi everyone, welcome to The Hurt TV. Um, today is my first ever video blog and I'm going to be showing you my first initial thoughts of the Astro A40s. Um, as you can see, brand new box, 2013 edition. So I'm going to go through these, open them up and tell you what I think. Hi there everyone, back again. Um, I'm going to unbox the Astros now. Um, um, just in case some of you wondered why I've got that hairy caterpillar on my upper lip. I'm doing a charity event um, in the UK called Movember. It's for testicular prostate cancer awareness and you grow a moustache for the whole of November. And that's what I'm doing. But anyway, back to the Astros. So I've already cut open the little sellotape tags. Ooh. There we go. And as you can see, the box is absolutely amazing. The quality of detail that goes into the packaging for Astros is brilliant. And it just pulls open, and there you have it. That is the 2013 Astro headset and Astro mix amp. Um, both have been updated this year um, for 2013, um, which I will go through and talk to you about in a second. Right hand compartment has the quick start details, I believe. Yep, it's the quick start details, Astro card, your microphone and all the leads that you need such as the new optical lead, the new um, headset connector to the um, to the Mixamp Pro, um, so all those details are in there too. Um, so I'm going to go and play for a bit, uh, then I can come back and tell you my thoughts of the 2013 Astro um, A40s. Okay, so here we have it again. Um, I've been playing with these for three hours now and all I can say is wow, 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 wow. It's an amazing bit of kit. Um, it far exceeds anything that I'm used to. Um, as I've said, um, I've had the Turtle Beach X12s with the DSS2 process. I've also had the um, Triton AX Pros. Um, this headset and mix amp just blow them out for water, superb. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each bit of kit now. So I'm going to start off with the headset itself. Um, not a lot of change um, from the headset. Um, it's had two upgrades um, from the previous um, um, headset, with one of which being the uh, quick release system. You now have a 3.5mm uh, jack um, input straight in to the headset itself. So if you want to just disconnect it, it's just a case of simply pulling it out. Also, the other feature that's been upgraded on the 2013 um, headset is the drivers themselves. They've um, had um, improved um, um, audio on them. Uh, the bass has been um, um, improved to um, to have less distortion on these headsets. And it's um, Astro say it gives you a, it, it gives you a truer sound of uh, what they um, what um, what the sounds meant to um, sound like basically. So that's it really for um, the upgrades. Um, it has all the usual Astro features that you'd expect, um, such as the removable customizable um, um, earphone um, sides, um, I forget what you actually call these things, uh, speaker tags, sorry. Um, yeah, and also the microphone um, can transfer from either side, so you can have it on this side or on the other side depending how you want it. Um, I, I prefer it on, uh, on, on the left hand side myself um, but yeah no which is great. Also one thing I did notice about is they are so comfortable. Um, I have huge ears and they get hot very quickly and the Astro Cups are so soft and my ears didn't get hot at all uh, and also the top of the headset it was all it was all very comfortable very uh, very nice indeed. Right so that's enough for the headset. Now I will bring it on to the actual mix amp itself. Um, the mix amp, um, it, it feels a lot lighter than um, my friend's one. Um, and that's mainly because Astro have got rid of the, uh, the battery pack for a USB um, power connection. Um, so that is mainly why that's happened. I'm going to plug it in now and show you some of the features on that. Bear with me a second. So, right, so that's it all lit up. I'll try and get rid of the reflection on the screen. Sorry, I've got a window right above me, which you're gonna get a bit of reflection on this. So, on off button, 
um, then you have the game volume or the volume overall completely and the game and voice balance so you can just adjust this to whichever one you want to um, um, whatever one you want to have um, sounding the loudest then you have your Dolby surround on and off which is just a click button and then this leads me on to the new upgrade to this, um, this uh, mix amp, which is the equalizer. There are four equalizer settings. Um, at the moment, they're not custom, uh, customizable, but in the future, they will be. So if we start with the first one, which is the top left, this one is great for first person shooters, for Call of Duty, Halo, that sort of stuff, because it allows you to accentuate the individual sounds uh, that really matter in the game, such as uh, your opponent's footsteps or reloading or grenades um, or like that sort of stuff. It just, the hi it just highlights that completely. And so it gives you an edge in, um, in competitive gaming, really. And the next setting is the core setting which allows you to play games as they're meant to be heard. Um, so um, if you're playing uh, the story campaigns or anything like that, that is the way it's meant to be heard. Then your next setting, the bottom right, um, this is your media setting. So for music, movies, TV, um, that is what you'd, um, it will give you the best audio sound for them. Now, the last setting, the bottom left, I'm not a big sports fan, I don't play a lot of sports games, um, but I've borrowed a friend's FIFA and wow it makes you sound like you're in the stadium it is um, it is really uncanny uh, the, yeah, the e EQ on that is brilliant actually so I'll just turn this off now and show you all the uh, all the inputs so as I said the, you've got the USB to power and then you also have something called the stream um, this is just a 3.5 output, um, which allows you to be able to mix your game, uh, your game sound and your chat sound. So that is absolutely brilliant if you stream to Twitch TV. It sorts it, it sorts out a lot of trouble there. Um, you have your MP3 input, and you have your optical cable. The optical cable in the 2013 has been upgraded. Uh, the Toslink has gone now. It's a 3.5 um, um, millimeter optical cable, which I have here. Um, I've just got the jack on there, uh, the cover, sorry, because I don't like getting any dust in my optical cables. And see, it's just straightforward plug-in like that. So that is an upgrade on that. Just plug that back on. Going to the other side, uh, you have your 3.5 millimeter jack for the headset. You have the Xbox Live um, input and you have your two daisy chain inputs. Uh, this allows you to have your own private, um, um, uh, I guess, uh, your own private sort of network between you and your teammates once they're all daisy chain. It can either be done with the orange uh, Astro uh, daisy chain input or you can do it with a 3.5 cable. So pretty straightforward. So that is it all in all really for both of the um, systems. Um, yeah, it is 7.1. Uh, Dolby surround. Um, that's um, yeah, and um, that's about it really. So summary overall, I, I think it's a brilliant bit of kit. I love it, as you can tell. It's um, yeah, as I said, it far exceeds everything that I've had before. Um, so yeah, um, please subscribe, um, please like, and if you get a chance, check out my esports organisation, www.avidesports.com. Um, we are a gaming organisation, uh, primarily Call of Duty, Halo and FIFA. So um, that's it. Thank you very much and um, take care.